I'm going to do a quick demonstration of the iron bias filter on the Equinox 800, specifically to try to show that it's really not some sort of fine tuning to uh, discrimination that's going on here. It's actually a little bit more complicated than that. The machine's actually using uh, uh, data points from multi frequency to kind of differentiate iron from. Uh, non-ferrous uh, in, in a more complicated way than just discrimination alone. Um, anyway, I've got two targets on the ground here. Uh, it's the best I can do, kind of what's laying around the house, but it's a fairly large uh, ferrous iron ring, uh, about a three inch diameter. You can see kind of in comparison to my hand. I've also got a small, about 10K uh, rose gold uh, pin uh, as well that will swing over. But I uh, have the Equinox turned on already. I'm in park one. The sensitivity is turned down quite a bit because I'm in my basement. And EMI gets kind of out of control otherwise. Um, but uh, I'll scroll over to, there we go. We've got F2, the iron bias F2, which came with one of the later updates on the Equinox. But it's set to zero, which is its lowest setting. And what I'm going to do is, we'll go back to detect mode here. We'll swing over that iron ring. You can see it's showing it as iron all day long, 12, 13, 12, thir I'm sorry, uh, showing it as non-ferrous all day long, 12, 13, 12, 13, back and forth, no matter what angle I come in at it on. And, you know, pretty good distance away from the target now, and it's kind of showing the same rough numbers. Going over to the gold pen now, you yeah. Pretty much the same idea. It's a little irregularly shaped. I gotta get it a little closer to it because again the sensitivity's turned down. 11, 12, sometimes a 13 number. You can see the numbers are essentially the same. Well boy, that's bad, right? Because we got iron and we got gold. I don't want to dig iron, I just want to dig the gold, right? Well, that's what iron bias does for us. We'll go over here uh, to our uh, uh, settings and Again, we've got F0, and both of them were shown the same. Let's bring it up a little bit. Let's go to you know, F2, a setting of 3, a little bit more iron bias in here. I'm telling the machine I, I, I want some of these iffy signals to be iron. So I'll go back to my detect mode, and lo and behold, gold's still showing the same, 12, 13, sometimes down to 11. Again, that irregularly shaped piece has given it some variable numbers. I go over to this iron ring. Ah! There we go, that's what I want to see. Iron all day long. Just by changing the iron bias setting, not by changing my discrimination. I've not fine-tuned discrimination here. I've changed my iron bias, and the machine's now differentiating the undesirable iron from the desirable gold. Keep in mind, iron bias is not intended to be a, uh, an unmasker. This is simply telling me, telling the machine what I want it to do with iffy signals. Now this is in multi-frequency mode. If we go into single frequency modes, iron bias isn't working anymore for us. In the Equinox, you only have iron bias in multi-frequency because it needs multi-frequency to work. As you can see in four kilohertz, show me a real high tone. Same thing with five. And I can scroll through all these the numbers will change. And that's what iron bias is using. And I've got to let it settle in. There we go. That's what iron bias is using to tell me hey, this isn't this isn't a good signal. Go back to my gold. And it's much more consistent throughout. Anyway, hopefully that's a, a pretty good demonstration to kind of get people familiar with what that iron bias is really doing for you. Thanks for watching.